Yo, what's going on? So I just got two things to say before we hop into this lovely video today. One, I am doing a giveaway of a pair of Yeezy lights. So if you guys want to go ahead and turn it's only going to take two seconds. Link will be down below in the description and it's free. So go ahead, enter in, get the free pair of Yeezy lights. Two, I would say, you know, video is kind of older, but of course I corrected myself and a little bit of the thing just because I had these pair like months out before. So um, anyway, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and get to this lovely video. Yo, what's going on? What's the welcome back to another video today, man? I swear, every time I'm sitting in front of here, I'm always telling you guys that we have something special for you guys, which is true, but this time, this is gonna be a little crazy, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just go ahead, get right to this, but I'm gonna say one thing, and that's shout out to Rico, aka Mr. 10 Steps himself. He's always coming through for us with these early Jordan reviews. Not only that, he's also doing pre-orders on early Jordan 1s and just Jordans and all types of crazy shoes in specific, so, if you wanna go ahead, check him out, which you definitely should. Link will be down below in the description. But without further ado, let's get right into this review, man. Let's go. So boom, here you have it, man. Coming straight into the review, you have the Air Jordan 1 High OG patent breads. These things are crazy. These have released in, I wanna say, 85, 94, 2009, 2011, 2013, and 2016. So these have released a bunch of times. Of course, not the patent leather, but mainly just leather. But this time, throw a little twist for the 2021 release and give us patent leather. So, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you guys like. Do you guys like the leather version or are you kind of digging this new patent leather version? Like, mm, mm, I don't know. Honestly, all I can say is that this is probably going to be my first patent leather shoe that I'm probably going to buy and actually enjoy besides um, a Jordan 11. But yeah, so without further ado, let's keep shooting forward to this review, man. Of course, you guys know with these early reviews that there's never really a box just because, you know, this early, it doesn't really matter. But if we had the box, label would read, Air Jordan 1 High OG, Brad Patton, colorway would be black slash white uh, dash varsity red, style code would be 555088-063, release date would be October 23rd, 2021 for a retail price of 170. Now, um, I know that these come with red laces, which you see I have right here. Hopefully it focuses in, yeah, red laces. Not sure if it comes with white laces, but it would be dope if it did. And I know it comes with a red Jumpman silver like hang tag. That's about it, so let's get right into this review, man. Okay, so starting off with the insole, you have a black insole with a red Nike Air printed inside. There it is, you guys can see that, size eight, of course. And then around the sock liner, ankle collar, just standard Air Jordan 1 mesh material. On the other side, you have family stitched in there of course in cursive pretty dope pretty cool i really like that about this shoe coming on standard air jordan one tongue standard air jordan one tongue um black tag red writing coming on over red nike air black tag black tongue like i just said red laces like i said i don't know if it comes with white laces but you definitely get red and then of course standard black um Standard toe box, pretty much everything is just patent leather from this point on, and it's just the same original OG bread colorway. Now, let you guys get a nice look at that. And like I said before, man, I believe that this is gonna be, you know, the first shoe that I own that's gonna be fully patent leather, and that I'm actually gonna really enjoy. Of course, white out so, white out so. Standard. I mean, you guys know how I Jordan brand looks, you know what I mean? So, there's not really too much to go into detail about this shoe, but all I can say is that this is a classic OG color that people are going to love and people are going to want now. I'm not sure how well it's going to do with the patent leather. I don't think that's going to stop people at all, to be honest, in my personal opinion. And honestly, I heard like stock numbers, you know, it wasn't going to be honestly something too limited, but of course with the hype and again, OG colorway, I think these are going to be a little bit hard to get. So. 
And I know you guys always like to ask me about resale predictions and stuff like that. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and say like around 300 to 350 for these. I could see these probably going up to like 400, maybe even 450 in a year, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And maybe not that high, maybe because of the patent leather, but definitely the other models and stuff will start to skyrocket as well. So let's go ahead and get to these thoughts and opinions. So my thoughts and opinions on this shoe, man. And as I said before, dude, I'm already hyped on it. Like, I love it. I can't wait to actually get my first pair of all patent leather shoes, especially being a Jordan 1. I just can't wait to get a bread all in general. And I'm really liking this whole family thing right here. Like, that's pretty cool. It reminds me of these uh, Dominic Tretto memes that they got going around the internet right now. But yeah, man, I'm all hyped for it. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead, let Ali come in, do her part, and then, uh, yeah. Gonna end the video off. So here we go. So how you feel about the Air Jordan One High OG patent breads? Do you like the patent better, or do you actually like the leather pair better? I actually like the leather pair better. Um, I do like the patent leather um, on the black and red, but patent leather is just not for me. So I would definitely go with the regular breads over these. Even though black and black and red shoes are like my favorite pair the only color i own right now for some reason um but these just would not be for me i don't know how they would look creased yeah so for me these would be a no-go from to actually wear would i put them in my collection probably just to hold on to um but i would not wear these unfortunately if they were the leather ones yes but just since they are full pound leather it's just not for me um and i would personally throw in white laces white Right. Again, I like the white laces over the red or the black. I'm definitely liking the red. I think the white would actually look good, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I guess that's about it. So rate, comment, subscribe. Definitely thumbs up the video. Like I said, it always goes a long way. And um, yeah, without further ado, I guess this is it. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out and stay safe.